going to finish up the DMA 10 review. Uh, look at or search for the other video that covers the first 12 questions. This is the last question on the uh, review. And uh, we're going to do several problems that involve order of operations. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, question A. Now, the idea behind this, what I'd like you to realize, is whenever you add a negative number, um, that really means that you want to subtract that number. So instead of plus a negative, think of it as being negative 24 minus 3 plus 24. This becomes minus 5 and then plus 5. All right, and... Um, now you might have noticed this before I even said that, but we do have some opposites up here too. And the idea of opposites is that, well, you have a negative 24, positive 24. When you add opposites, that does give you zero. So you might have noticed that from the beginning. I could have mentioned that. That negative five and that positive five, they're opposites. So uh, they, when you add opposites, you get zero. So actually our only answer here is gonna be negative three. So instead of you trying to add all this stuff up, if you skip around a little bit, you got negative 24 plus 24, that's zero. Negative five plus five, that's zero. The only number you have left is negative three. Now, if, uh, if you'd like though, you could go through the, the whole entire process of adding and subtracting these numbers. Um, so I don't recommend this, but just watch what happens. Negative 24 minus 3, if you add these two numbers, or subtract these two numbers rather, you get negative 27. Uh, plus 24 minus 5 plus 5. So from here, negative 27 plus 4, that gives you negative 3 minus 5 plus 5. And then if you take negative 3 minus 5, that gives you negative 8 plus 5, you go right back to negative 3. Again, just going through the whole process of adding and subtracting from left to right. But again, I really don't recommend doing that because uh, from the get-go, hopefully you did see that uh, many of these things did cancel out because they're opposites. All right, the next problem, question B. Negative 60 minus a negative 50. Whenever you subtract a negative, uh, maybe you've heard of keep change change or uh, whenever you subtract a negative, you add, so negative 60 plus 50. And another way I've mentioned it to you as well, when you subtract a negative, think of this minus here as just coming and making a plus, but you get rid of that negative there. So negative 60 plus 50. These signs are different. When signs are different, you subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger, quoted bigger. So 60 minus 50 is 10, but the bigger number is negative, so our answer is negative 10. All right, make sure you're showing your work for these. That's what I'm doing here because uh, the instructions, recall the instructions do say to show your work. All right. Negative 9 times negative 42. A negative times a negative is a positive, so maybe you might come out here to the side and do 42 times 9. Now you might say, well, I had the 42 written first and the 9 written second. But if you recall the commutative property, you can multiply either one of these numbers first times the other number. Uh, and I'm recognizing a negative times a negative is going to be a positive, so there's no need to worry about the negatives here when we multiply. 9 times 2 is 18, 4 times 9 is 36, and then you add that 1 to get 37, so your answer is 378. A negative times a negative is a positive. The next problem, very similar, uh, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. There's not much work to show here if you know your multiplication tables because 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. Now this is a positive 9 because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Therefore, negative 54 divided by negative 6 is a positive 9. Not much work to show there. Question E, negative 42 divided by 0. Recall that you can never divide by 0. This is undefined. 
I hit on that quite a bit in class, so make sure you remember that. Undefined. You cannot divide by zero. It would be different if zero was up top. Zero divided by some number that's not zero, that's always going to be zero. But in this case, for question E, this answer is undefined because you cannot divide by zero. Question F. All right, I'm going to think of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. PEMDAS. I'm going to leave the negative 3 alone. Plus a negative 16. Yes, this is parentheses. Whenever you see, uh, whenever you're adding a negative number, you could think of it as just subtracting. So instead of plus a negative 16, think about it as subtract 16. I'm going to bring down everything else. Because what I really did there is I worked with parentheses. There wasn't much to do with the parentheses, but I worked with them anyway. So we're done with the P, and please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. E, exponents. Let's work with the exponents in this problem. That's the only thing I want you to worry about now. So negative 3 minus 16 divided by 4 minus 9. 3 squared is 9, bringing the minus on down. The only thing getting squared up here was just the 3, so we don't worry about the negative or the subtraction symbol yet. So we've dealt with the exponents. Recall, please excuse my dear, we multiply and divide from left to right, but in this case all we have is a division problem. So be careful here, you want to work this part out. You do not want to take negative 3 minus 16. Bring the negative 3 down. Negative 16 divided by 4, that's negative 4. So when you take that negative 16 divided by 4, you get negative 4. Bring down your minus 9. And now all we have left is a subtraction problem. So we've multiplied and divided from left to right. In this case, it was just uh, division. And now we add and subtract from left to right. So everything is subtraction. Minus 3 minus 4, that's minus 7 because the signs are alike. You can add those numbers and keep the sign. So minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. Minus 9 more, that's a negative 16. Now, what I do not mind you doing, this is not a problem. I want you to show your work like this on the module exam, again, because it did say show your work. I do not mind, however, if time permits or, you know, make sure you manage your time wisely on the exam. I don't mind if you check your work on the calculator to make sure that we get negative 16 for problems like this. You could have done this for any of these problems. Like back here, question E, negative uh, 42 divided by 0. Divide by 0, error, undefined. But uh, remember for problems such as question F, make sure you're showing your work to get full credit. I do not mind if you use the calculator to check your work, though. So let's type that in and see if we get negative 16. Negative 3 plus a negative 16. I'm typing it in exactly how I see it. Divided by 4 minus 3 squared. And we get negative 16. Exact same thing. So we're good there. All right, question H, you might say, what happened to G? I'm going to save G for the last problem because that one's quite a bit longer. So from here, again, back to please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, there are no parentheses, but we do have some exponents. So the first step is to deal with the exponent. 5 times 4 minus 30. We dealt with the exponent. All right, from here, multiply and divide from left to right. So therefore, we do want to multiply before we add and subtract right here with this 30, or this negative 30, rather. So 5 times 4 is 20. We multiply these two numbers. Now we can bring down the minus 30. And then our last step is to subtract. 20 minus 30 is a negative 10. Again, take a quick second. Let's make sure... Double check our work. This is what's good about the calculator, folks. You know, you do the work in your head, then you check it on the calculator. So 5 times 2 squared minus 30, negative 10. Same answer we get right here. And last but not least, question G. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. we got to work inside a lot of parentheses. 
Um, you got some these brackets here. I recall I have told you to think of these as parentheses. Think of these brackets here as parentheses. But what you want to focus on is, uh, since we have these brackets or parentheses, let's work inside of here. Let's deal with the parentheses inside of here, but I'm going to leave those uh, brackets part of the problem. Those red parentheses, I'm just going to leave them as a bracket. 4 times negative 6. We can multiply those two things together, working with that parentheses, and you get negative 24. You don't want to subtract 4 yet. But what we can do is bring the minus down, 4 squared, it's okay to go ahead and square this, you get 16. And then recall, whenever you add a negative number, you are actually subtracting. So we got minus 2. Now the idea behind it here is this. There, there are a couple of steps maybe you think I skipped there. Um, you might say, I thought you're supposed to work with just parentheses first. So that would give us that negative 24, and this would give us minus 2. But recall, it's please excuse, parentheses and exponents. So you can deal with the parentheses, and since this one isn't really affected by any parentheses, I went ahead and dealt with that exponent. All right, divide by inside of this next group. I'm just going to bring down the minus 3, minus 4 times... Deal with the exponent, 1 to the 5th power, 1 to any power, that's positive at least, uh, well actually negative 2, but 1 to the 5th power, 1 to any power is still going to be 1. Alright, still working with parentheses inside of this group, negative 24 minus 16 minus 2, everything is getting subtracted, so what we can do is we can add these numbers together, but make sure we keep the sign. So minus 24 minus 16 minus 2, that's 42, but remember to keep it as a negative 42. Now, if you were showing work here and you decided to uh, maybe use parentheses in that part, um, that's totally fine. I'm just going to use the brackets to match what I had from the beginning because those are brackets. All right, there's our division symbol. I'm going to bring it on down. Maybe I'm getting a little bit to the left, but hey, we're starting to simplify this problem. We're definitely, uh, we definitely don't have as many numbers flying around. And then in this last group over here, minus 3 minus 4 times 1. You do want to multiply first. So right here, minus 4 times 1, that's a negative 4 still, because anytime you multiply by 1, you're not really changing the answer. So minus 3 minus 4, because like I said, that's still minus 4, that gives you minus 7. And now our last step. The last step to this problem is to divide because we have to work stuff out in this group of parentheses and this group of parentheses. So negative 42 divided by negative 7. Recall a negative divided by a negative is a positive, And 42 divided by 7 is equal to 6. Let's check that one real quick. You should get a positive 6. And let me come back and erase these right here, just so we can clearly see everything. And again, recall on this calculator, you do not have <clears throat> any brackets. So I'm just going to use parentheses wherever I see these brackets. So parentheses 4, parentheses negative 6, minus 4 squared, plus parentheses negative 2. And then notice that parentheses right there that I just typed in is actually that bracket that closes in that first group. Divided by, moving along over here to this stuff, parentheses, negative 3, minus 4, times 1. Remember your exponent button. This is not a squared power. It's to the fifth, so you have to use that button right there. So I'm going to raise it. There's that button I just pressed to the fifth power. And that parentheses there is that bracket closing everything up. And hopefully we get, remember your answer, I haven't pressed enter yet, we should get 6. There you go. Alright, so again, very important, make sure you show your work. Again, if you have time, 
work efficiently, and you can check these problems on the calculator. And that is it for the DMA 10 review, and that is it for this video. I hope it helped.